Well, welcome to another episode of Gone Again. This is the Iceco JP50 refrigerator freezer, 12 volt compressor uh, refrigerator freezer. And I want to spend a little time here showing you the pluses of this refrigerator, what's good about it. Uh, there's not too many cons, I'll tell you that right now. And its price range is right about in the middle of these refrigerator freezers. And I thought you might like to know because um, there are some things about this that make it worth more money than the cheaper refrigerators on the market and I'll tell you right now it's not much that much different from the more expensive ones so like I said it's a JP 50 that's uh, 50 um, liters but it's about oh, close to 53 quarts in size it's got a real um, substantial uh, casing on it and it's uh, got the strong handles on it here too these handles are strong enough that you can really strap this thing down and they're not going to break no matter how heavy you got this thing when you when you pick it up. It's plenty strong. There's a good seal on the lid that seals on this um, ridge that you can see here nice and tight. That's an LED light that comes on automatically when you open the lid. It's got two compartments on it. The main compartment here with the basket and then over on the side, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a cooler over here. So uh, that's going to be slightly warmer than the main compartment, but not much. The cold air is going to drift over into there, but that's a good place for vegetables, cheese, things like that, or maybe you just want to fill it full of uh, soft drinks. There's a divider in the basket here. I probably won't use that, but you can. It comes with it. One thing that I noticed right away is the inside is uh, aluminum, and that transmits cold a lot faster than a plastic lined refrigerator. Aluminum is way more efficient than that. So you can use this as a just totally as a freezer or just as a refrigerator. It doesn't have dual compartments and that's okay with Linda and I because we never use a freezer anyway and our other refrigerator has a freezer on one side and a refrigerator on the other and we always run that one as just a one uh, refrigerator also. Some people tell me that they they'll use it in freezer mode and they'll freeze bottles of water and they'll transfer those over into another cooler, a regular ice cooler. So they got like a freezer and a cooler and they'll do that. And Linda and I have never um, needed to do that. We just, we just like having just a refrigerator and sometimes we just stop at the store for ice cream. It comes with a 12 volt power cord, cigarette lighter plug, just like this that I've got plugged into the Jackery here. It also comes with an extension, a 12 volt extension. I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, open this up, but it's probably about 10 feet, I'm guessing. You have to be careful when you use something like this because this is 16 gauge wire, so is this. But the longer the wire, the more it's going to draw when you're using it. So if battery voltage is uh, a premium in your setup, uh, you wouldn't want to have a long extension on it. And if you do have to have a long extension, you're going to want to make sure that it's uh, Oh, you know, like a 12 gauge wire, but this would work if you just need to get a little more um, run to the back of your SUV or something like that. And of course, because your engine is running all the time, you're not going to be concerned with any power loss. It also comes with this 110 volt power cord and look what it's missing. It's missing a brick. This just plugs directly in to the, there's two plugs here. There's a 12 volt plug and over here is a 110 volt plug. So the electronic components for the uh, 110 plug are inside, so you're not carrying around a heavy brick. Pretty nice. Another nice feature is this can tilt up to 40 degrees. So for um, overlanding or off-roading, uh, you don't have to worry about it tilting. Usually with refrigerators, you got to keep them uh, just absolutely level. But uh, this has got that tilt feature built into it, so you don't have to worry about it while you're traveling. Pretty nice. Now, I know you're all wondering what's it got in it for a compressor. It's got a Seacop Danfoss compressor in it. That's top of the line. 
That's uh, the one that everybody looks for. Now the compressor does have a five-year warranty as compared to the uh, less expensive refrigerators that have a one-year warranty. And then this has a one-year warranty on all the other parts. Over here on this side, this is your 110 or 240, a 110 up to 240 volt uh, plug. This is where the 12 volt plugs in right here. This is an external 15 amp fuse, which is handy because it's right here. You don't have to take this cover off to replace a fuse. And over here, this switch, it says low, high, and medium. That's the um, automatic shutoff when the voltage gets too low. Like if you had this plugged into your car cigarette lighter, you'd want to have this on high, which is the middle position, and that will turn this uh, refrigerator off when your battery voltage drops down to 11.1 .1 volts so you don't kill the battery in your car. On the medium setting, which is up above, it's 10.1 volts. That would be good for a deep cycle battery, like a marine deep cycle battery. And on the bottom down here on low, it's 9.6 volts. So that's where you're gonna want it to be set if you're running it on a Jackery um, power, um, type of uh, solar charger or power bank like this. Now the Jackery you don't have to worry about because these are regulated 12 volt sockets and this is gonna maintain the voltage you know, above 12.2 or more through the whole uh, cycle of this Jackery. But some of these, and especially the older ones, do not have a regulated circuit on them or uh, accessory plug on them. And uh, that's what this low setting is for. So it'll continue to run this down to 9.6 volts. And of course, on uh, your earlier model power banks, you're not gonna have to worry about that because the lithium can easily go down to that. And this will just shut off automatically when it reaches uh, too low of a voltage anyway. Now, if you're curious about power draw, when this is in eco mode, it's uh, drawing about 34 watts off the Jackery when it's running. And when it's in max mode, it's drawing about 51 watts. And the reason you would use max mode is if you need to cool the refrigerator down really fast, or if you're operating in high ambient temperatures and you, uh, and you need to get a little more aggressive with your refrigerator to keep it cool, then you'd run it on max. Otherwise, eco mode is the normal operating mode. Now in running this, one thing I noticed right off the bat was it runs a lot less than uh, the less expensive refrigerators. Hey, it's on right now, it just came on. You can hear what it sounds like. It's a lot quieter than my house refrigerator. And what was I saying here? Oh yeah, so it runs a lot less. So uh, run times on the compressor. So that's gotta be because it has superior uh, insulation in it. And like there's very little cold when I put my hand underneath it, I almost don't feel any cold at all. So it's really well insulated. I don't feel any cold up here on the lid either. So this lid must be uh, insulated also. And some people have asked on the forums, they say, can I sit on my refrigerator? Cause I need to be able to sit on it cause I'm using it in a van. Well, I think if you could, I'm not suggesting this, but I think that if you could sit on anything, you could sit on this one. I sat on it and it didn't give at all. But of course that's gonna hurt the seal inside. Up inside the lid here, it's got this nice, um, placard that uh, gives you different temperatures for, for what you've got in it. That's handy. And then down here is the regular placard and uh, wiring diagram. Now the price of $559 on Amazon includes this insulated cover. So it's got a nice tight fit. It's got um, heavy duty zippers on it. Easy to fold back and use. Of course, you wouldn't want to have this sitting in a sunny area with a black uh, insulated pad on it, but it does have that foam lining that I can feel inside. So that's going to be handy. And through the window here, you can see what your settings are. It also has pockets on this on the other side. And um, you can put your uh, cables in the, in the pockets right here. About the only con I can think of, the um, JP30 the JP40 and the JP50 are all the same 
um, width and length. And the only thing that varies is the height. And on the JP50, that means that it's, it's deep. So to get anything from the bottom, you really got to dig down in. But they did per, you know, provide this basket. You can see how deep the basket is so that you can lift it up and get things on the bottom. But if you need more space and you don't want to use the basket, because you need more space in there, um, yeah, you, you'd have to dig down pretty deep with it. That's the only con I can come up with. Otherwise, it looks really good. So why should you buy this unit? Well, definitely noticeable higher quality than the lower price models of refrigerators, other brands. I think that there's a a big difference between this uh, refrigerator and the ones that are priced under it because um, it's got better insulation which is obvious and uh, the case on it is definitely higher quality it's got that aluminum lining inside which transmits the cold better so yeah you're getting what you pay for and um, there's not I don't think there's that much difference between this and the more expensive Dometics which are like twice the price almost twice what this cost uh, maybe they have more insulation. I don't know. I've never seen one up close, so I, I couldn't tell you. But that's a possibility. So right now, um, $5.59 is an exceptional buy. Anyways, I hope you appreciated the review. If you did, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and see you around.